you want to know strength you must travel into the inner place the secret place is the place of strength how much of the bread of life have you eaten Elijah was weak and vulnerable and the angel stood up he said rise up and eat for the journey is great he ate and slept again rise up and eat the journey is great and when he ate on the strength of that bread he walked 40 days and 40 nights to Horeb the men that can go through are the men that are fed they are the men fed of the word of life that's why Jesus when the devil was coming to tempt him he went ahead of the devil 40 days and he fasted and prayed when the devil showed up he thought he was tempting him everyone he speaks there's a rema word that just flows out of him naturally he is being fed man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of god when you are confused it's because you have no bread when you are weary it's because you have no bread every time there is crisis go back and lock the door as you overpower the dictates of flesh the holy ghost comes and ventilates you and you begin to feed of the bread of life and when god feeds you with the bread of life the next thing that illumination hits you you know they journeyed with him many days to emmaus and he was talking they could not even recognize him until he broke bread and their eyes were open and they recognize him when you begin to eat the bread you enter into illumination that's when you see the menorah the menorah is the seventh government of heaven the government of the lord the government of his wisdom the government of his knowledge the government of his might the government of the fear of the lord is the menorah so suddenly you interact with different dimensions of the powers of the age to come you can't be confused anymore you can't be deceived you can't be drawn away because you have a light that is not the sun those who are in the outer court their illumination is the sun because the outer court has no covering it is the sun the problem with the sun is that the sun darkens in psalm 121 verse 6 he said the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night why because you have entered the secret place but if you are in the outer court the sun will darken your heart the sun is the wisdom of this world and he said the wisdom of this world is first of all sensual that's why in songs of solomon chapter 1 verse 6 he said look not upon me because i'm black he said the sun has looked upon me there are many pastors that live by the philosophy of the internet they want to teach they go google scriptures on the internet they are powered by the sun that's why you will be shouting fornication hell yet the people will live in it because you don't come with light that proceed from the government of heaven you have no illumination you will be darkened they are talking flesh yet everything emanating out of them is pride they are darkened by the sun because when man fell he lost the powers over the earth and the prince of this world now rules the earth he's called the prince of the power of the air he can manipulate the constellations and he will darken the souls of men anything that brings illumination outside of the menorah is a sign that you are in the outer court what you need to do is to go deeper and the way deeper is the way of prayer so priesthood is the part the instrument of eternal preservation can you live above the sun why do you think most of us are afraid is the news we hear but if we heard the breaking news of heaven we will be like mount zion that cannot be moved when the menorah illuminates a man the only thing that comes out of him is worship at this time he has nothing he can pride himself in anymore the prince of this world come to me and find that nothing at this point the powers of my emotion have been loosened the cord of my will have given way the things they taught me when i was young i have forgotten the philosophy of my ancestors i have forgotten the philosophy of the world system before i came here i used to think that the Igede man never gets married to the thief woman but you see i have forgotten that philosophy my heart was darkened but i am purged by the the, the light and the government of the menorah before i came here i thought ministry was money 
I thought it was breakthrough, so I was zealous. But a point came when I checked my strength have been taken away. So I've become a puppet in the hand of God. I can't move until he moves me. At that time, you have become worship, an instrument of worship. Worship is not a good song. Worship is the ability to yield to the dictates of the Spirit of God. So he flows out of you effortlessly. It was a person that showed us spiritual paralysis. When God wants to function, he can't function because you, are, you have your strength. You are not an agent of worship. But when you are fed of the shoe bread and illuminated by the menorah, you can rise up to go to Egypt and he will say, stay still in Gera. Stay still in Gera. So everything that comes out of you is an offspring of deity. Ministry becomes an offspring of deity. Many, they produce things by their intercourse with the world. They call it ministry. They call it, do you not know that most of the things we call ministry today is Babel? It's men building a name for themselves. And God will crush Babel. Babel must go down. Anything that is not born of your intercourse with the Holy Ghost is not the offspring of God. He cannot pass the test of time. In 1 Corinthians 4 verse 5, he said, When the judge of all shall appear, he will judge the intentions in the heart of men. What motivates, what powers, what inspires what you build? If you don't enter the inner court, anything you build is a product of this age. And it will burn by the fires that come from the eyes of God. That's why he said, having received a kingdom that cannot be moved, let us receive grace to serve God acceptably. There are many kinds of service that is not acceptable. The only service acceptable is the service that is powered by grace. Daddy was sharing with us, he said, you can be worshipping on this altar, but you are moving by your mind. By your mind. There is, it doesn't resonate in Zion because grace has no signature on it. And anything not born of grace will be born by fire. The fire will burn it and your life would have been a waste. Preparation is coming into intimacy. Your words, your actions are born by intercourse with divinity. That's when God can vet your work and say, well done, thou faithful servant. Many came, said they casted out devils in his name. He said, go, I know you not. You are workers of iniquity. You didn't travel to a point where you will be illuminated. A man of God said, grace is the supernatural power to live above death and corruption. Your will can't stand it because your will is compromised already. Your soul traffics energy from this world. It receives vibrations from this world. The only way you can come to a point where you give expression to things born in the spirit is when by prayer you journey into the secret place and your life becomes worship. Your life. God has the right of way over you any day, any time. You have no possession. Even the money in your account, you become a trust fund. Yahweh can show up and say, sign out that money for that project. When you are young in these things, like some of us, you will cry. But every time you want to pray, you will hear, give it out. Because you can't go forward until that government breaks you. 